So I once learned when it comes to YouTube videos, something bad is better than something good. Meaning the best cuts, nobody cares about that. But the worst cuts, people click on that video more likely. So thanks for clicking on this video, appreciate it, love you too. My name is Solomon, today we're gonna take a look at the worst card per keyword. I did this style of video like about a year ago, and I thought, let's do the exact same thing because you probably haven't seen that. On the Hearthstone Gamepedia, which is like Wikipedia, but for the game, there's like a list of keywords. Some of them that are evergreen, so they are across different sets, like Better Cry and Death Rattle and Taunt, and others that are specific to sets, like Adapt or the Corrupt Mechanic. And I put all those keywords into the Hearthstone Collection Manager, and then looked at the cards and selected the ones that are the worst from each keyword. You might say that I look pretty blue, might be because of the background, Let, let's change that. Which color do you want to have? Do you want red, green, yellow, pink, or purple? That's kind of pinkish purple. Maybe you guessed that, maybe you didn't. It's like one of those pick your own adventure style books, where the thing you choose actually matters. Let's make it green, like Shrek, but also Temporis. The very first keyword that was on the list was Better Cry. And the worst Better Cry minion, in my opinion, I hope I don't have to mention that this is my opinion and opinions change and all that. But yeah, the worst card is Temporis. You give your opponent an additional turn. People played Open the Vagates and Mage to get an additional turn and win. And you just give them that for free. So in other words, if you play Temporis, you lose. And while the next card might not make you lose, it makes you lose a couple mana because the effect is not that good. When it comes to all the choose one cards, they're all limited to Druid. And I guess like Shaman because of Skolomancy and those dual class cards, there's Dark Whispers. It might be worth six mana when you play the Druid quest, where both effects are combined. But without that, this is just the worst choose one card. I think I've not seen a single person playing this ever. And the same is true for the next card. It's green. It's like Edwin Van Cleef, but it's more like Edwin Van Leaf. Haha, uh, get it because it's it's a plant. Bite weed. Wow. It, it bites and it, it just... No. It's by far the worst combo card. There are some combo cards that are not good. This is by far the worst. Just play Edwin. Edwin is good, this one isn't. It's like the meme with, can I copy your homework? Yeah, but don't make it obvious. That is obvious. It, it's Edwin copy-pasted, but worse. For Death Riddles, we have Major Domo. In the last video where I talked about bad cards, he was also mentioned. But you can play funny OTKs with him. Outside of really funny OTKs that make you laugh, giggle, and lamau, I think this is just, no, this is just a card you wouldn't play anywhere. But at least the hero power deals 8 damage, that's like the mage hero power, 8 times as good, for the same price. For Discover we got Arcane Thingy. I know there are a couple bad Discover cards, but I think this one is by far the worst, because it discovers a spell that costs 5 or more, meaning if you play this card, you summon a 3-4, and you can't do anything with a spell unless you have a coin, or you use like an Emperor take like mana reduction on the minion itself. This just means you play this card and pass your turn. So you summon a 3 drop on turn 6, and then you get a spell you don't want to have. There is Magma Rager, which is great. There is Rock Rager, which is strong, and there is the Vine Rager. Woo! Recently, when I got back to League of Legends, I install the game like once every two months, play for five games and uninstall, I saw that there was this one Lee Sin skin, and that reminded me of the Vine Rager. Boy, it's strong, it's divine, has divine shield, and it's also the worst divine shield minion. But yeah, it's, it's yellow, and you know what people say. Yellow is the color of giraffes. Next is the freeze mechanic, and there's one minion in particular that only saw play in Arena, and that is Frozen Crusher. Back in Angoro 2017, this wasn't bad in Arena. You summon premium stats for 6 mana, better stats than Ogre, play it, trade, it survives. Not bad. But in, in real life, like in any mode ever, this card doesn't do anything. Why does it freeze itself? Maybe you played with Morabi and you get the card back to your hand, which, fun fact, actually works. So you can generate infinite value. Sometimes you need value, sometimes you need lifesteal. But you don't need lifesteal on a 1 mana 1 1. Why does this Moloch have lifesteal? Why is the point in giving that one lifesteal? So if your opponent used a hero power on turn 1 and dealt 1 damage to your face, you get that back? Lifesteal makes sense in form of spells or big minions. Why is it on a 1 1? And why is it a Moloch? What I don't like is the poisonous mechanic. I think outside of battlegrounds, poisonous is just a bad keyword. Is there any minion that has poisonous as an effect that ever saw play? Poisonous doesn't do anything, so this guy is up there. It has 1-5 in stats for 5 mana. Maybe a 2 mana this card would see play, but even then it's questionable. It just seems like this card is missing like 5 attack or something like that. 
For one of the more recent keywords, we have Outcast. And almost all the Outcast cards are great, so the worst one is, I guess, this one. It, it's a 5 4 that summons 1 once. So 7 6 in stats for 5 mana, that's like Venture Kogai. So Outcast is just a good keyword, based on this one being the worst one, in my opinion. And now we have red and blue in the background. Wow, amazing. It's like Overlord. And for Overlord, we have Neptulon. Neptulon is the Murloc man guy. So even though the card itself is just a 7 mana 7 7, that's alright, I guess. It overloads to 3 and gives you Murlocs that you don't want to have. It's like there's not a single deck you would play this card in. But the animation is not bad, and he looks cool and golden. I just got a call from FedEx. Couldn't understand the person, but they wanted my email address. Reminding me, well, you want a sub? It's free. Next card is the worst card for Rush as a keyword, and that is Vile's this one. It, it's just bad. I feel like that's my go-to line when it comes to any of those cards. It turns out if you play a minion, that removes a minion, because it has poisoners as well. But it's a 5 mana minion, that is a 1-3 in stats, that you can just play a spell that destroys the minion for less. For the worst secret, I picked Hidden Cash. Or Cash? I read a YouTube comment that said it's pronounced Cash, but then just, just write it like Cash. No, this one is Catch. If you want to correct me, feel free to leave a comment down below. I would appreciate it, it's good for the algorithm. It buffs a minion in your hand by plus 2 plus 2. You can just play a different secret or a different minion instead. You can even just play a buff spell and then buff something on your board. Crazy idea. For the worst card with the silence effect, I pick Light's Champion. And that is because it's so incredibly specific, it only makes sense to play against like three different demons. Ah, oh, and then this one keyword came next called Stealth. And for Stealth, I selected, I think, every single card in Rastakhan's Rumble. All the shrine cards are terrible. If it's red, if it's yellow, if it's purple, color doesn't matter here. All those shrines are just terrible. So for the worst stealth cards, the entire set Rastakhan's Rumble. Let's put the entire set in there. I would even say let's stealth the entire set and pretend it never happened. That's how bad it is. And next we get spell damage. Turns out if you have spell damage, that's not too bad. If your opponent has spell damage, it, it's bad. So why do we have Jungle Moonkin? It's the only card in the game that gives you and your opponent plus two spell damage, and it just gets you thinking, why would I give my opponent spell damage? Like, unless I have an OTK with that, I just help out my opponent. This one only makes sense in like those co-op tavern brawls, where you have to destroy like a 70 health minion, and you have to help your opponent out. Outside of that, this doesn't do anything. For the worst taunt minion, we have Rock Rager. Taunt minions are supposed to protect you. This guy doesn't protect you. It had one job, and it failed. For the worst Vincuri card, I picked Grokfu Master, and that is only because he got a reprint which is 4 mana instead of 5. And even that doesn't see play. We made it through all the keywords, yay, but we're not done with the video. So there's another set of keywords, those that are specific to expansions, like Adapt and so on. And for that, we gotta pick a different background color. Are you guys ready? The Wait, the app doesn't work. Some YouTubers have like three different studio setups just to film in different locations. We have different background colors. We are more efficient. Also, I'm not gonna move. The worst Adapt card is Elder Long Neck. It's just a 5-1. Even if you get the adapt thingy that gives you plus 3 health, this one is just a 5-4. And for the worst charge cut, we get Ice Hall. It has also one job, and that is charge. It doesn't do that. I don't know why. Should be called Rush. For the worst corrupt minion, most cards are good, but this one is poisonous. And as mentioned before, who plays poisonous? Poisonous doesn't exist outside of Battleground, so... Cobra thingy just has no effect. Then for the worst card with a dormant keyword, it should be Sherizen. All the other dormant cards have a better effect as they were printed like 4 years later. For the worst card with Echo, we have Squashling because it's a Priest card, and Priest has Raza Priest and Big Priest. Nothing else, so... This card doesn't exist, basically. The next keyword is called Immune, and for the worst card with Immune in the text, or as an effect, we have Stable Master. And yes, this card actually exists in Hearthstone. It's from TGT, it never saw play anywhere, it's terrible, and it's just bad. For the worst card with the Inspire keyword, which I think is the worst keyword ever made, next to Overkill, we have Argent Watchman. Unless you Hero Power, this card doesn't do anything. So if you play this card on turn 2, you need to Hero Power on turn 3, and then this can attack. That's the effect. Wow, that's useless. When it comes to Invoke, all the Invoke cards are alright. This one doesn't do too much. It gives you plus attack and summons 1-1s, one but it has 1 health, so it dies to everything. For Magnetic, I put in this thingy just because unless you put it onto the poisonous thing in Hunter, this just deals 1 damage. Then to the terrible overkill keyword, we have Gurubashi Chicken. It has 1-1 in stats, 
tell me how it gets overkill. For the worst quest, I picked Raid the Sky Temple. Just because you get a random mage spell, which is bad. Your hero power is kind of gun. You can't even pick the one you would like to have. And overall, there's just no reason to play this, even if you play a random mage. Just play Reno instead of that. The worst reborn minion, I think, is Wasteland Assassin. It does have reborn and stealth, so it's not that bad. But it's just, who plays reborn stuff? You don't. Fun fact, Dexter revealed that card, and he never played a single deck with that card. Recruit is also not the best keyword ever made, and this thing in Druid makes no sense to exist. I don't know what it would recruit in Druid, but it's an 8 mana 3 5. It's bad. The voice Psychost I think is Elemental Ellies. It does draw your stuff so it makes sense in an Elemental deck, but you have to play minions back to back and they have to be Elementals or it doesn't do anything. So yeah, it doesn't really have a purpose. Just play a card that draws instead of that. Spellburst, one of the recent keywords. It's mediocre. And we have this Cauldron. It does something random, so that's funny, but it only does something random once and not twice or more. The worst Twin Spur card, which I think only sees play in Dual Paladin, is Give a Minion Lifesteal. It makes sense if you play something like High Priest Stackle and go down to one health and then restore everything. But outside of that, it doesn't see play anywhere. And after going through all those cards, those would be the worst ones, in my opinion, from each expansion. I mean, keyword. Expansion was last time, right? It's kind of hard when you schedule multiple videos and record them at the same time. Yeah, if you haven't seen the last one, watch it. Can recommend, it's me talking about cards. If you think there was another keyword I think I missed out on, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, consider subscribing and all that. We talk about Hearthstone and card games and actually just Hearthstone. If you want to see daily gameplay, we have a daily channel called Solemn Daily. You want to hear how much money I made? I talk about that on the on the money channel called Melos. It's solemn backwards. You want to tell me I should use glasses again because you're used to me with glasses? Well, you can tell me too. Now I have glasses. Wow. I gotta go outside, slay some demons with my epic Lich King sword, which is a real replica. Hope we do the same things. Maybe something else. And take care.